Hello, boys and girls. So, breaking news in the last 20 minutes or so. Unai Emery has been sacked as Arsenal manager. Finally. I was actually on the underground, so I missed the initial announcement. And then there was some loud cheers from some obvious fellow Arsenal fans. And I find out that he's gone. Finally. Um, it was inevitable. It was going to happen. Um, you look at that result last night and you've got to sit there and think that that, even if we got a victory, was just going to delay the inevitable. A lot of people were saying that we're waiting for somebody to come in, somebody that, you know, they want to have in place before they make this decision. But I feel that they had no choice based on that result last night. I feel that if we would have won that, he may well have hung on got to Norwich, see how that goes, and kind of prolong the inevitable. But given that result, given the fact that it was so awful again, they've looked at it and they've said, nah, time to go, as Claude would say. And um, yeah, Unai Emery has been sacked as Arsenal manager. So finally, and um, yeah, I'm on my way down so where the stadium is now to meet up with a few of them. But, yeah, I'm actually buzzing now. It's just like, finally, let's get it done. It's finished, it's over. It's like, we can move on, we can look forward, we can see who we're gonna get in. That's the next one. Um, the club have come out and said that Freddie Lundberg is taking over as interim manager. Um, I think that's pretty understandable, assistant coach. Um, we got a game against Norwich in two days' time. So, um, yeah, it's the right thing to just, you know, put him in charge, let him go and deal with the players down at London Colney and get them prepared for that game. Um, and let the powers that be deal with the decision-making side of things. Um, and that's, you know, the best for all parties, I think. Now, the names that they're talking about, of course, there was the Wolves manager, Nuno. Um, everyone was talking about him over the last week. Maurizio Pochettino, that is a big name that's being mentioned. Because, of course, he is without a club after getting sacked by Spurs. And I'm, I look at the situation and I think, what would Arsenal do? I don't think they're going to go for a manager that's already at a club because then you have to pay more money to buy them out of the club and they're already having to pay off money, you know, to sack Unai Emery and his team. So yeah, you've got to sit there and say, it's gonna be a manager that's currently not in a job. Pochettino, Allegri, um, of course, Luis Enrique, he's now unavailable after taking up the Spain job. So there's not really that many candidates, to be honest with you. Patrick Vieira's in a job. Thierry Henry is now in a job. But, you know, those players alone, I just think that the job would be too big too soon. Patrick Vieira's a little bit more advanced and doing really well within his coaching and whatnot. But I think the Arsenal fans now, they just want to see a big name. They want to see something that, you know, gets that kind of blood flowing and the juices like, oh. That's what you want, a big name. Just something that gets you going, you know. Um, the talk with Pochettino, you have to look at that. The fact that, of course, he never won nothing in over five years at Spurs. But then you've got to look at the bigger picture when he took over Spurs. Spurs were always a side that were like, you know, top six to eight, challenging in and around the top four. But they were never, ever really a threat for a trophy. No one ever looked at Spurs and went, oh, you know what, we're worried about them. They might actually win a trophy. But then in the last couple of years, especially, you really started to worry about Spurs and trophies. Champions League final. You look at the football that they play. So you look at it and you think he would be a good fit. But given his attachment to Spurs, the players, the fans, maybe not so Daniel Levy, but those other attachments, it might be a bit too much for him to, you know, come four miles down the road to Arsenal. But yeah, it's very interesting. Money talks. And um, he would be on a very lucrative contract. Um, 
and he would have some serious players at his disposal as well. You've got to remember what we do have here. Um, it's a very good squad, very good team that's just not playing well at the moment. So, um, yes, yeah, just an interesting one to see whether he would make that move or not. I honestly don't know, to be honest. I really don't. Um, if my money was to be put on it, I think he's a strong candidate. I really, really do. Allegri, now that's an interesting one. I heard that he was interviewed for the job um, before Emery and it actually didn't go that well and he didn't come across great um, from you know what people were saying. He came in and he basically said he wants X amount of money um, to fix up the team so he can go and get you know certain players and the board basically turned around and said no so um you look at that one and you think maybe the boat sailed with that um maybe allegri's not the one he's been out of management for a year as well so you've also got to take that into consideration you've also got to look at that and think um is he going to step back into the job just like that and then yeah you're thinking of other candidates and whatnot. And like I said, there's no one really out of a job that's available. Of course, a week ago, you'd have had the option of Jose Mourinho, but he's now the Spurs manager. So that's another one that you can't look at. Um, so yeah, it's very interesting. It's a big decision now. The, um, the board, Raul Sanelli, Josh Kroenke, Stan Kroenke, um, everybody that, you know, the powers that be, the decision makers, this is a big one. Because if you get it wrong, then um, we're going to keep going around in circles. A bit like Manchester United in many respects. Um, I know that no manager is a guarantee. Um, we would all love to, you know, have a manager that hits the ground running and turn out to be Jurgen Klopp or Pep Guardiola. But it's just not going to happen, is it? Um, even they took time and even they um, needed to get their plans in place. But yeah, just looking at it all, I don't know. Freddie maybe till the end of the season. Um, maybe then it would be a little bit easier. But it's a big gamble, letting Freddie in charge till the end of the season. What if things don't turn around? You know, a club legend. Um... And it's just going to be difficult. But what this will do for the moment is get the fans back on side. What this will do for the moment is make things more exciting. Fans are going to be going to Norwich on Sunday. We're going to be buzzing. There's going to be that feel-good factor around the club. No doubt the players will have that extra lift now. Rightly or wrongly, you would sit there and say, why did they not have that lift over the last few weeks? But it's just difficult when you don't want to play for a man that... You don't want to be the manager, do you? So, yeah, it's just interesting. Um, I suppose we're going to find out a little bit more over the next 24 hours. But for the moment, Freddie Lundberg is the manager, um, interim manager. And like I said, I think that's the right thing to do. I think that with the fact that we've got a game in two days' time, um, we need to concentrate solely on that. And we need to get three points because we need to start picking them up now. Um, we really, really need to get points on the board given our results um, in recent weeks, months even. So, um, yeah, let him, you know, concentrate on that colony. Be interesting to see what kind of lineup he goes with. Be interesting to see um, what formation he will go with. Um, I watched him closely with the under-23s last season, saw the way that they were playing, and, yeah, let's... Um, not make any excuses here the under 23s to the first team is a big big step um but i liked what i saw um, and a lot of these youngsters that we do have in the squad obviously like playing for him so you look at that and you say maybe um how will nicholas pepe fare will he start playing to his strengths um interesting like i said very very interesting so i'm here at the emirates just arrived and um, yeah, I'm waiting to see if there's any partying or celebrating. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, we've sat two night Emery. Uh, what I will say is that I wish him good luck for the future. It just wasn't to be. Don't wish him no ill, you know, thoughts and 
whatnot, but it is what it is. It's done. So, yeah, Unai Emery is gone. He is sacked as Arsenal manager. Who will we get in? How will Freddie do? We'll find out. So, if you're new around here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, smash a like on the video, and um, I'll see you a lot very soon. I'm out of here.